Previously on Danganronpa V3. What? What? Do what the heck? What do you say, little demon child? Do you say squish? Huh? You heard me. I'm gonna squish the ants crawling a monomy. There's nothing you and your giant fucking muscles can do about it. Oh. 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 Yoko didn't think this through. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! The Stick of Bee. Back with some more, Danganronpa V3. We last left off, I got my fucking ass handed to me by the final boss of the game, and ah, I just, I couldn't beat him. I couldn't beat him, I spent so much time on that fucking one recording. You know, I end up cutting out so much of it, but I really do, I'm, I'm, I'm spending like, per episode, like, over three hours on each thing. Cause it takes a long time to get through each, uh, the town of course one time. And even longer to go through each of the dungeons and stuff. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so you guys gave me some tips. So, um, basically what I need to do, endurance up seems like doesn't really help at all, which is, in my opinion, was a bit misleading. I don't know if maybe there was a mistranslation along the way, but it seems like endurance up just doesn't do anything, at least not for confuse. And I'm, I'm guessing not despair either, but my, my issue is more with confuse. Um, and as some of you guys have pointed out, yes, it is pretty much the only reason this fight is fucking difficult. It's just that one one BS status effect. So in order to uh, to resist it, you have to just have really, really high fortitude. So I have to, I'm gonna have to build a character that just has super high fortitude in order to resist it. Um, seems like there are set characters that have like, that are, that have high fortitude and uh, high, high speed too, so they can, you know, cast it early. Um, but I think the one I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna go with Kaede. Apparently she's supposed to have good fortitude. Cause I wanna see some of her events too, if possible. Just so you know, even if I do miss some events, I may still go back and, and play them again just to just to see it. Cause I know there are still a few, like I, I think when you guys said, uh, there was actually a scene I missed with Kokichi and Izuru. Oh shit, I gotta see that. Like, I still want I, I want to see. It, it get kind of hard because sometimes you're like, you gotta choose between seeing all the bonus scenes or making a decent character, you know? Which is why I'm gonna be happy when Monokuma's fucking dead. <laughs> when I'm done with that, and then I can just go in, not have to worry about stats at all, just jump into the friendship course and see everyone's events, you know? But right now, till that motherfucker's dead, gotta focus on the RPG thing. All right, the good news is I truly can pick from anyone, though. That's, I've got everybody's card. Let's go. Let's go with our girl Kaede. Ultimate Kaede. I'm sorry, Kaede. Okay, I'm still thinking the future course is like the best one to start with. <laughs> oh, Sea Academy! How exciting! I hope I can make lots of friends and make babies with Shuichi. Oh. Oh, please give me some more sexy time with Shuichi. That, oh, I just I need I need some more of that. I know I probably I should have had my fill from that fucking hotel scene, but it's like a drug, man. I, just, I, I can't get enough of it. I need more. Oh, I need some more Kaede. Come on. I'm sure, will. I feel like something wonderful is waiting for me here. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I feel a wonderful Hoge is here to pleasure me, both emotionally and physically. Oh yeah. La 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 la. Okay, uh, I've seen some people bring up uh, one is like ultimate defense. Is that prevent conditions and take? Less damage for one turn. Apparently, if you max it out, you uh, you can do it. Wait, no, no, it's sacrifice. If I if I sacrifice, if I get that maxed out, I can actually do it for all allies. Um, so damage decreases. Honestly, the the thing that I really need, I just need to be able to <laughs> to uh, avoid confusion. That's really it. It's not even the the physical attacks or the attacks he's dealing out that are killing me. It's just fucking confusion. Confusion. So. So clearly, I need cure condition, uh, and hopefully as high fortitude as I can get. I, I bet betting uh, her friendship events will also give me high fortitude. Depending on the character, you know, they get uh, specific stat upgrades. So today's sports festival. You finish your events, so you decide to cheer. Which event will you cheer for? Uh, Curse volleyball seems fun to watch. Maybe I'll cheer for the soccer team. Should we, should we play table tennis? I like how they point out immediately. It's like, okay, it could be some girls, some random dudes. Should we <laughs> be playing table tennis? Hmm, Kaede, she come to cheer me on? Hell yeah, baby cakes. Yeah. No, I came to wait for you to finish so I can make up behind the bleachers. Yeah. My event just ended. Oh, wait, did yours already end too? Huh, just point you couldn't see Shuichi's victory, ha! Huh? Looks like Kaede still got a win to go! Ryoma, get the fuck out of here! I'm about to make out with Shuichi! You're ruining it! Now I'm gonna stay here and watch. Huh? Th that's not what I meant. Obviously, I just wanted to see how well you did. Thank you. I don't know if I was very impressive out there, but thank you for coming. You were thanked, even though you couldn't send him any cheers. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. God almighty. Their ship is the best thing in the world. I love it so much. I don't care if you don't agree with me. What if I think this would help too, like fortitude up? If, if I can't get the fortitude maybe as high as possible, then just have this and have them cast it on themselves, you know? You know what? I'm fucking going for it. Can't get enough of that fortitude. Hey, it's uh, Ryota. Ryota told you you wanted to draw a running scene, so you're modeling for him. Uh, um, sorry. Could you run a little bit faster? Hey, maybe you should run too. Drawing from experience, you know. <laughs> you did it! You won! When did this become a race? Ryota's dead! Okay, max that fortitude up. Oh, see with Izuru. Huh, actually increased her influence and her strength. Izuru taught me how to be buff! Hey! Oh. Good nom 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 <laughs> I don't think I've seen Ibuki one single time throughout the all these uh these events here. Oh, Kaidi! Sayiki! Good morning! Good morning, Ibuki. So yeah! a, a perfect ma smell for the morning! Smell like that free would even affect inflation! Yeah. Morning, you're super excited as usual. I see, I for the, see. <laughs> for the three of us to gather here, we were checked by the orb of musical revolution. Huh? Uh, musical revolution. Good job! Ultimate pianist, ultimate pop sensation, and the ultimate musician. But all three of us are totally unique, and we clash with each other's music. It'd be like putting rice, pasta, and Chinese dim sum on a one plate. A musical clusterfuck. Oh! Um. It's a combination of dishes that no one would order together. But... But I was thinking it'd be nice to collaborate together. Like being a music video with Ibuki, or singing a concert with Kaede on the piano. Good job! Oh, that sounds fun! Be a good opportunity for us to spread our music to everyone, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Our dream is growing and spreading, ding ding! Hmm. But going back to what Ibuki said, our genre of music is totally different from each other's. Oh my god, you. <laughs> I just gotta realize, Ibuki kinda laughs like Miu does. <laughs> That's true. Kai Kai fix some classical music and Ibuki is a guitarist of an old girl's band. Pointing! And and pointing! And 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 Saika is the center lead in her idol group. <laughs> we ended up breaking up before we even get got the chance to play together. That'd be horrible. <sighs> uh, ooh, gee, 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 gee. But the hype wouldn't go through the roof if we worked together! You know? Instead of trying to kill each other's music and do things we're not particularly skilled in, it could be best if we try to synchronize our music with what we're good at. Well, I can only play the piano. Ah. <laughs> I agree with Kaede. I'll sing, Kaede will play the piano, and... Yes! I'll rock the fuck out! <laughs> I'm making me own, will be charged with lyrics and composition! <laughs> oh god. Um... Kaede? Huh? What? Um... Do you think this will turn out okay? Um... I can sort of guess what will happen next. <laughs> Get ready to die, motherfucker! <laughs> Just yelling the shit at the audience. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's interesting. I'm not getting any fortitude from any of these events. Maybe he has to do more with just leveling up and not necessarily the event the uh, event squares. Oh! Come on. Oh my god, I finally show up! <laughs> finally! The event that I show up in. It's not that fake fat poser of mine. We all know I'm the best Tagami there ever was. Hell, I'm in the Council of Voices. I'm clearly an important and significant character. You two, who said you were allowed to share a table with me? I'm back to being a douchebag! Yay! Huh? Oh my god, Miyu's there? Oh, this must be this must be an event I missed with Miyu then. Huh? I can't sit here? Slimy shit! Slimy shit! I can sit wherever the fuck I want! If you got a problem with it, you can fucking suck my big fat monkey dick! Don't sully the air, air with your vulgar words. <laughs> oh, is my hot body making glasses fog up? Such <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> Did you not hear me? You're spe unspeakably vulgar. Seriously? <laughs> well, I guess sticks wanted no one, fuckface! <laughs> <laughs> what did you call me? Huh? Bitch, I could buy your tits any day of the week. You think coming out of rich dude's ball sack makes better than me, an actual genius? Oh, uh, jeez. Hey, you guys, don't fight here. <laughs> Impossible. Someone like her would never be able to fight me on equal terms. Hey. Yeah, don't compare this four-eyed fuck to our guy, idiot. I'm leagues above him. Jeez. Me, you, do you want me on your side or not? Stop talking. <laughs> Hurry up and disappear. The two of you are wasting my valuable time. Huh? What? Even me? 
That was totally unexpected. <laughs> Shut up! I know. Be nice to Kaede. Come on. Fuck you, Byakuya. You think I'll just let you get off the hook for wasting my valuable time? No, you're wasting my valuable time. Are you trying to extort me or something? You utterly disgusting woman. Are we gonna fuck later? Is that what we're doing? Girl, I will fuck the shit out of you. Yeah, right. Bitch couldn't keep it up for fucking two seconds. I'll show you. Maybe in that broom closet in 30 seconds. I'll fucking be there. What are you looking at, hot car? Oh, no, I didn't say anything, dude. I didn't say nothing. Uh, ah, disgusting woman. Oh, my God. Here we go. Aww. Oh, jeez. Me has gone all weird again. I, I still like a... I could enjoy when someone talks shit to me. Sorry. Sorry, Piakia. I hate that I've gotten used to reactions like that. <laughs> I hate the person I become. Now <laughs> uh, you're both ignoring me. Oh, see that bear? Ah, <laughs> oh my god. Why is it taking so long for me to show up? I want answers. <laughs> I'm motherfucking Tagami, don't you know? Today's a school festival. Obviously, you've decided to perform a piano recital. It's almost time to go up on stage. What kind of musical piece will we play? Uh, I'll play an exciting musical piece, a soothing musical piece, a melancholic musical piece. Soothing. Phew. Phew. Just that thought. No, no, probably even better. You know? Uh, Kaede, I'm... What's the matter? Um, Jihiro? What's the matter? Why are you crying? You're wrong. Oh, this... I was just so moved by your performance. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know much about classical music, but I was really touched. My chest felt warm and fuzzy, and then, um... Yeah. Sorry, I can't describe it that well. You know? It's okay. Seeing you smile is the best compliment I can receive, even if you're huh? kind of crying, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I performed so I could see people smile like you, Chihiro. <laughs> was that a cheesy thing to say? <laughs> no, I thought it was wonderful. Your smile made you happy. Yay! Get out of here, Fujisaki! So my boy told me to come up here. Shuiji! <laughs> Where are you at, son? Get your sexy ass up here! Sweetie, I see you! I see you over there! Ah, damn it! Get out of my way to spare right, square. Just leave it to me. Can I please get some fucking surgery? Oh my god, I landed on Friendship Square and Shuichi! Oh, yes! Give me that intellect! Oh, oh my god! What are the odds? And I got the friendship square with Shuichi! Shuichi, come over here. Do you have a minute? I think I've seen this already. Huh? Sure, what's wrong? You know? My problem is my titties are too big. I can't fit them inside my bikini and I need a little help. I see. All right. I'm just gonna have to oil you up. Yeah, lay it on me. Come on, Shuichi. Yeah! Yeah, I haven't got a single one of her friend or event squares actually give her a forward to, so. Uh -huh. Your last word at the Academy. You're performing at Sayaka's Christmas concert. Feel nervous to perform on an unfamiliar stage. What will you do before the show starts? I should talk to someone to calm myself. Maybe I'll meet up with Sayaka a bit earlier. Oh, yeah, I forgot to invite someone. Let's talk to someone, someone to calm myself. Yes! It had to be Shuichi, baby. Kaede, thank you for waiting for me. Shuichi? Shuichi, sorry for calling you so suddenly. I still have a lot of time before the concert starts, but I'm really anxious right now. No. D don't worry about it. If you like, you can talk to me about it. I'm actually a little surprised that you're anxious. Done so many performances. Got it? Of course, I'm nervous. I'm about to perform on stage with a nationally recognized pop star. And I'm playing original songs that I reached myself. It's a huge deal. What if Psycho's fans hate it? Uh, okay. I see. That does sound intimidating, but Kaide, I'm really looking forward to hearing it. And I'm a little bit nervous too. This is my first pop concert. Huh? You're coming with Kaido and Maki, right? You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. If you like it, do you want to go eat somewhere after the concert? Uh, um... Oh, well, Kaido said they were going home right after the concert. Um... Huh? Um... What about you, Shuichi? I'm... Uh, if it's okay with you, I could stay behind. Although I want to talk about the concert. I see. I see. Then you want to go somewhere? It's just the two of us. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Oh, God. How am more nervous? Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm, I'm nervous, but I'll definitely do my best now. Oh, yeah. Um, so, look forward to tonight, okay? Oh, my God. No, I'm nervous. No. Oh, my hoge. It won't go down. Stop it, hoge. You're embarrassing me. Shusaika will do ground stage. I'll make sure this will be the best performance. Head to Christmas concert with newfound courage. Oh. 
Oh, yes, give it to me. Okay, I'm not really sure how successful I was. I mean, she did well. She got a ton of influence, but <laughs> but her fortitude actually ended up being her lowest stat. Well, aside from luck. But like, oh my god, what the hell? They just have high fortitude. Maybe not. Maybe whoever said that was, was wrong. I don't know, it might work though. I mean, she has ultra defense, which is supposed to prevent her from getting any conditions. Depends if she's fast enough. She's pretty high agility. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll give it a try. I was able to enjoy my youth making lots of friends at the best time in high school. That's Kaede Akamatsu, graduate from Hosu Academy. All right. All right, well, worth a try. The problem with this though is, God damn it, is that Makura is still faster than her. Okay, well, okay, it's all right, I, this, this'll work. I took the scissors off, which does decrease her attack power a bit, but this will let Kai, Kaide be faster, which is what I need. All right, let's give this a try. Hey, Kibo managed to resist that with fortitude up. Mmm, okay, this might work. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, the moment of truth here. I believe this is the turn he always always does confuse. So put up ultra defense. Yep. Yes. All right. Defend it against it. Oh shit! Right. I still had my turn. Okay. Fine. Now she just cure condition. There we go. God damn it! He still kills Kibo. Oh, actually, you put on. Why do I have these shitty shoes on him? I'm such an idiot. There we go. Problem solved. I'll dodge all the dumb physical attacks. The good thing is that Monokuma does do his confuse every, at the exact same time, every like four turns. So at least I can predict it. All right, seem to be doing all right. Just don't fuck up now. Okay, now suddenly he's not doing it every fourth turn. He's like, seems to have stopped. Maybe that's it. Maybe he only does it twice the whole fight. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous to, <laughs> to risk that, though. I don't, yeah, he didn't seem to be doing it anymore. Uh, okay, I'm fucking okay with that. I just gotta fucking kill him. This guy's kind of using sacrifice on everybody, and, it, and honestly, as, the way it is, then he literally can't hurt me. So, just gotta wear him down. He's got a shit ton of health. Oh my god, this is going on forever. Yes! Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh, thank god, it gave me 3G. Overcoming true fear. Please come again. I am Monokoma. I am this dungeon's final test. Dead. Day 999,999 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, G. I knew it! I knew I was gonna do that shit. Fortunately, I lost 8 million times. Ultimate lucky student proof! Oh yeah! Oh my god, could it be? That's me, man! Oh yeah! Look at all that luck! Boom! It's like a million percent luck. Oh yes! So much power! Oh, that's what. That's what Makuro needs. No more of using that fucking Mujin cut bullshit, which misses so many goddamn times. Not that it matters. I did it. I fucking did it. I'm done with Monokuma's test now. Let's go ahead and just grab the remainder of these. Oh, I gotta fill it all out again. Ah. Yes. Oh, thank God. You know, I had fun with this, but that last that last 50 floors it started to get a little overstays welcome a bit, you know? Because it really was just kind of the first one again, but just a little bit harder. And then that last fight was just fucking bullshit with the Confuse. And then I, I like, I had to get a, spe a specific build in order to beat it. But I did it, guys. I fucking did it. I beat Monokuma's test, leaving only the good shit, all right? Leaving only the fun of the talent mode. Talent mode friendship things. All right, well, with Monokuma finally dead, Let's just focus on uh, getting some good scenes, right? All right, let's see. Who should we do this time? I think I'm gonna redo Kibo because uh, I only got like a couple of his friendship events. I feel like I really missed out there. I'm gonna get the run that I so rightly deserve. Okay, last time I did a, perhaps I'd be a decent goalie. Let's, uh, I will mount a solid defense. 
<laughs> Not against my seesaws, you don't. <laughs> he just jumps on, jumps on seesaw, and launches keep on the air. Ah! This has got to be against the rules. I will be on defense. That is the most logical course of action I can take. I see. Yes. For those of us who aren't good at sports, this is all we can do. I suppose. Mew suggested that I equip a booster function for this occasion. No. I also do not expect anything from any of your functions. <laughs> You did your best amount of solid defense. That too is... It's a beautiful side of you, though, Kibo. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh? Hey, here we go. <laughs> oh! You fiend. Hmm. Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah, well, uh, What? My, my, to encounter the supreme overlord of ice in such a place! For someone with as much power as you to be among common humans, what are you plotting? What is it? Huh? What happened, <laughs> sinner? To accuse me of such a thing is your understanding truly that shallow. How could you, the Alpha and the Omega, not understand? If you flinch, you will die! You will die! <laughs> this sad dining hall that wears the mask of the mundane is where they work the dark arts. What's the matter? Uh, 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 what? They? What on earth are you talking about? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> huh? he doesn't understand? Even though he's closest to the realm of Tootie of all of us! <laughs> this too must a be soulless the vessel ourselves. is easily filled with hatred. Wars are needed for the electric spirit. Mm -hmm. mm, I, I thought he was a lost cause, but now the sealed cyber beast bears his fangs at us. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You're giving me a backstory without my permission, aren't you? That's robophobic. <laughs> <laughs> without permission, you say. That is simply not true. I hear it. The voice of the electronic beast that slumbers within that steel vessel. <laughs> This version of me sounds awesome, actually. <laughs> Do I have hidden functions and a rough pass? <laughs> oh, how? You wish to know? Do you want to hear the backstory of the strongest robot? Hmm. You may hold the reins of your power only if you face yourself. Face yourself? You are a powerful foe, but evading you now would be boring. I will awaken your true self. Why? But, but what? I, am I a villain in this backstory? Three of you supposed to tell work and sh work shop and give us backstory. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so fucking good. It's so stupid, but it's so good. <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> there you are, Monokuma. Oh? Ah, what are you two obsolete models? I mean, what What do you two want? You stupid brother! Maybe. Who are you calling obsolete? Listen closely. I just caught that robophobic remark on tape. I will definitely recommend reprimand you. <laughs> huh? Huh? What do you mean? You're so Don't evil. play dumb! You're always so abusive toward me! <laughs> but it ends today! I won't put up with that anymore! Bitch! I have fucking Megatrons working for me! I got claws! What do you got? You got a bow under here! That's all you have! And another thing. Am I abusive to you? I forgot. Hey! Don't call me Monodaro! <laughs> Monokuma, why do you abuse Monami? Robot on robot abuse is not funny. And let's say robot getting kicked in the gonads on YouTube. Then it's hilarious. I know you love your cubs. Why can't you show your little sister the same love? Um... Um, I'm not actually his little sister. I mean, you notice we're a different species. Listen closely. And that goes for you too, Monami. Huh? <laughs> me? <laughs> Incomprehensible. Don't you think you should have reported Monokuma's mistreatment much sooner? Wait a minute. Are, are we in a trial right now? What did that happen? Oh, oh my god, I'm not ready. I don't have I don't have my trial face on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I gotta I put some powder on my nose. <laughs> I didn't mean to make this such a big deal. Well Well, it's not gonna be a, become a big deal, so don't worry about it. There's no reason to take any of this to court. It's just between you, me, and Kibo. Hey! Hey, don't group me in with you stuffed animals. <laughs> robot, robot abuse. <laughs> what the hell's going on anyway? Um. Oh, Kyoko, you're also the ultimate detective, right? Indeed. Yes, I'm the same as Shuichi from your class. That's. Having two ultimate level detectives in one school is like something out of a story. So. I've met many teenage detectives who have made a name for themselves. Huh? But many detectives. Really? Indeed. Yes, it's not so rare. Of course, most of the other detectives are adults. I see. I must reevaluate my understanding of the depth and scope of the detective industry. Please. 
if it's not too much trouble, will you tell me more about detectives? Why is that? What are you planning to do with that sort of knowledge? Hmm. Well, I've only ever met two detectives, you and Shuichi. So naturally, I'm curious. By the way, Shuichi told me that he used to help with his uncle's detective firm. Did you have a similar opportunity in which you were introduced to detective work? It's true. There's nothing I can really say about that. I was born a detective. Which means? You mean, like I was born a robot? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> As I thought. That being said, if you were born a detective, you must have been involved in many cases. Is that right? That's not true. I'm not as skilled as others who can solve multiple cases at once. Huh? Th there are detectives who can do that. The detective industry is truly amazing. It's true. Even among detectives, each of us has different logic, investigation styles, and specialties. Hmm. Specialty? In other words. There are many different specialties. Terrorism, kidnapping, gambling, even hacking. I understand. Hmm. How fascinating. I should ask Suichi if he has a specialty. By the way, what's your specialty, Kyoko? I... Being everyone's wafu! Homicide. Huh? <laughs> huh? Hey. Are you satisfied yet? Yeah. Y yes. Thank you. So you're an expert on homicide. I can't even begin to imagine the things you've seen. This is... Incredible. I feel like you're worlds apart from the rest of humanity. <sighs> I really don't want to hear that from a robot. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Okay, last time I said feast your eyes on me. So we got detail functions, the ultimate robot. Uh, the ultimate robot. No. <laughs> You're the exhibit. Is that even possible? Of course. Of course. As the ultimate robot, I house the latest technology from Professor, Professor Itabashi. Hey. Then doesn't that mean your creator is the amazing one, not you? <laughs> True. Professor Itabashi is indeed amazing, but he's not a high school student. Sure, I guess. Listen closely. Some students, like Sonya and Fuyihiko, are, s are ultimate simply for being their native selves. That's... I see. As a robot, what really matters is who you are, not what you can do. Indeed. Right, some may say I am surprisingly normal, or ask what it is I do, but I'm still an ultimate. Um... So even a surprisingly normal ultimate student like you has their share of worries. Discuss your ultimate robot doll with Ajime. It's interesting to see like how they sort of related to each other in that way. Like, like, oh, well, cause just because you're inherently normal doesn't mean you're not also a fucking ultimate inherently. It doesn't mean you're not still a fucking god. That's what Hajime is. He harnesses the power of John Young Bosch and nobody can ever take that away from him. Nobody. I think I, I did help clean the classroom the last time, so I'll have my body clean first. I'll start with the gym, this is so big. Have my body clean first. It's gonna be me. I knew it. <laughs> All done. But your body feels much better. That I've given a good cleaning, huh? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I feel quite refreshed now. Was it necessary though to squeeze the soap onto your tits and rub it against me? Oh yeah, it was. You're definitely my go-to person for maintenance. Thank you for taking such good care of me these past three years. <laughs> ah! Yeah, damn right. It's about time to show me some appreciation. That's right. I do appreciate you. That's why I'm sad. I won't be able to speak. To ask you for your services anymore. Huh? Huh? Why the hell not? Is there someone out there better than me? Well. N no, that, that's not it. It's just we're all graduating soon. Huh? Fuck graduation? Are you saying you don't want me to service you anymore? I also. Uh, I mean, I could love it if someone as skilled as you could perform maintenance on me. Fucking moron! Then why don't you move in with me, huh? Huh? Become fuck buddies! Really? <laughs> I mean, I'll help you, but I'm not gonna bust my ass coming to you to do it, you know? Yes. Yes, of course. I'm the one who requires your services, after all. <laughs> God! If I don't get my hands dirty, then you gotta make damn sure you know your place! Well then. Then, is it alright for me of me to ask you to continue servicing me? Fucking slugs! Think I reject you? I'm the one who likes me toy with and rejected, after all! Thank you very much. <laughs> Miu, thank you so much. I look forward to your care and service in the years to come. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, too. Looks like you have a bright future full of top-notch maintenance waiting for you. And some other kicky shit. <laughs> Yay! Now bend over. I'm going to clean that ass cavity of yours again. Yes, good. Go deep. Yeah! You know, it's funny. And not even and not even trying, this ended up being an amazing run in terms of at least his stats. Look at these stats. I'm not even fucking finished yet. And I've, I failed every... I haven't gotten to any of the exams. He's level 99. His stats are for insane. I haven't used any of the talent fragments either. Whatever, who gives a shit? Done. All right, let's do something we haven't done at all yet. Um, 
<laughs> you know what? I gotta do. I feel like I want to do Tagamis. I gotta see more of it. I like, seriously, I've only shown up one time. All right. I've got a very important arc. We we all know I do. And I want to see what happens. Naturally. <laughs> the ultimate affluent progeny. A title befitting the name of the Tagami family. <laughs> I suppose this place deserves some degree of praise for bestowing that unique title upon me. For realizing how fucking amazing I am! Alright guys, it's time for Tagami's Grand Adventure! Damn it, first day at school and I already landed in a spare square. Ow! Oh! <laughs> what the hell am I doing in this Flabian festival? Today is the sports festival, you're in the scavenger hunt. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just imagining like Tagami holding a little basket of eggs or something. Where's the next egg? Damn it. Tell me, Easter Bunny. Tell me your secrets. Oh my god. It's just me. I'm oh, currently in a costume. Meaningless child's play. But defeat is not an option for the head of the Tagami Corporation. So which card will you pull? Someone who wears glasses. Someone exposing a lot of skin. Someone taller than you. Someone exposing a lot of skin. So oh! Ignorant. Oh my god, look at those giant melons. Big sopping pair of wet melons barely held in by a fucking button-up shirt. Just disgraceful. Why take pictures of them? Just to show them to my higher-up friends and so they can see how disgraceful they are. Such stupidity and vulgar as well. A waste Let's of my go. time. Still, I suppose there is the obvious choice. Akane, come with me. Uh, okay, but I just ran a bunch and I'm hungry, so I'm pretty much out of strength. <laughs> Behave and there will be a reward. <laughs> reward? Oh, oh, food? Meals? I'm gonna do it! Okay, let's go, Miyakia! You made your way leisurely to the goal. Yes! I am the victor! Hey! What the hell is this weird bunny thing talking to me? Oh, it's the Easter Bunny! He came back again! You got me! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Why, good morning, Miyakia. You're looking as well as ever today. Come on. I've been pondering it for some time, but what on earth are you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What am I? Come on! We're both counselor voices, compadres! Have we gotten to know each other? No! Even after all these years, I still haven't figured it out yet! Hmm. Your true identity. The reason behind your existence. Why are you at this academy? I'm Usami. Um, I'm Usami. I'm like a joke of a Sailor Moon character. But it's a robotic bunny! Magical miracle girl, Usami! I'm here to teach everyone! And also have a goofy mini game where I kill things! That's enough. I'm not interested in that stupid story. Um. Um, I don't know how to respond to that. Well. Well, <laughs> well now. Usami might say some weird stuff from time to time, but she's sincere. Oh, well, good morning, Biakia. You're just saying that because cause she's always included in every one of your figure sets! Seriously! Look up any Chiagi figure, there's always a fucking Monome will include with her. Hmm. Are you interfering with people in our other, other class classes now too? You're quite the busy class rep. Piss off, perfect girl! Mm. <laughs> Puffy face? <laughs> Whether or not I'm in a different class right now doesn't matter. Biakia, if you're curious about me, maybe we should have a nice chat sometime. A student teacher conference to foster mutual understanding between the two of us. Not possible. I decline. I've had enough of you and those insipid monocubs. God damn it. You all make me sick. Why are there so many damn plush animals right around here anyway? If I know this is such a dubious place, I would have never have come to this school. But still. I know this all might seem strange, but I think you've ar you're already used to it, Piakia. See? Plus, the monocubs help us from time to time. Hmm. I have no desire to be helped by some strange teddy bear. Are you referring to those random cards I keep getting? And that surgery I don't keep getting! Everyone! Um, what about me? I'm helpful from time to time too, right? Right? I have my own character arc! Nobody cares about that or something! Get out of here! Okay, me! <laughs> this is already the best! Ah, finally! Alone! With my amazing thoughts! Oh, God! Thank you for your patience, Biakia. I've prepared your your civet coffee and chiffon cake. That's fine. Not bad. You've impressed me. Before I enjoy this coffee... Come on. I know you're there. I can feel your eyes on me. Who is it? Oh, God! <laughs> hey, what's up? Of course you know I had to show up in one of your friendship events, right? <laughs> As expected for master, <laughs> you're even accompanied by a servant. What the heck? But you over there! D don't get carried away! 
just because you're a maid. You're a mistake if you think you can care for Master every morning and all night long, all right? I will I'm his doormat! Toko, you should take a seat as well. Which do you prefer, English tea or coffee? <laughs> uh, a cup of tea! Understood. Understood. Please give me a moment. No, no, leave her with me. No! <laughs> Wait! That's not it! <laughs> How annoying. Kurumi, keep her away from me. Kill her for me! As you command. Die! Bitch, I've got a serial killer inside me! You think you got shit? Oh my god, she's got a gun! May I? The dining hall is a common area, Byakuya. If you wish to spend time in a more private area, then may I make a suggestion? I admit nothing. You're going to disobey Master's orders? Even though you're just a maid? Throw me out already! <laughs> <laughs> what the? How is it after all these years, I still don't understand you? I do not agree. I am only offering advice because I thought that would benefit Byakuya the most. Assertive decisions are necessary, but it's not wise to ignore the emotions of those around you. I him. see. Huh. I guess it's worth considering. <laughs> Master is going to listen to someone else's advice? Kurumi is not my equal. No one is. Still, she's a rare individual with superior skills. She's a servant worthy of the Tagami Corporation. I'll at least listen to her advice. <laughs> As expected from Master, he truly is the first son of a noble family. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, this is great. I love this. No pressure trying to get RPG mechanics down. Nope. Just enjoying some good old fashioned Tagami Dushi ness. Hey, look, I've got money! I'm gonna use that to buy myself another lottery ticket. Oh, I won again! Yes, I'm practically blind about all the cash I have. Ah, oh, I feel it. This is all fucking pennies to me, though. It's nothing! God, why am I always in the fucking dining hall? Huh? Hey, who made this food? Oh! Ciao. <laughs> did you, did you, did you a call for me? Hmm. You are the ultimate cook. You're that weird horny thing. I think you might be thinking of a Miyu. No, I am definitely thinking of you, Mr. Roofy Guy. Well, guess that's about it. I'm glad the ultimate afflu affluent progeny remembers me. But please, call me the ultimate chef. <laughs> so, how can I help you, sir? That's fine. Today's lunch was acceptable. I'll commend you. <gasps> e acceptable? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? I wouldn't give such an evaluation to second-class food. Hmm. I've got to mix feelings about this, but I suppose I'll consider it a compliment. <laughs> Re rejoice! I might consider hiring you on as a contracted chef for the Tagami family. Mm -hmm. Just what I'd expect from the original Tobiakia. Your condescending tone is truly a top notch. That's enough. Hey, stop talking like there are other Biakias here besides me. Yes, I know there's one really here, but don't mention him, all right? Not in my presence! Anyway. Oh, speaking of what, they, those two have got to run to each other, right? At some point, they have to. As a funny offer, I am grateful, but I'm going to have to refuse. What are you thinking? But, what? <laughs> well, I still want to open up my own place, and I've got to chase my dreams, you know? Why? So instead of working up for the Tagami family, you choose to stay buried among the rabble. Understand. A man longs for a castle of his own, no? Besides, I made a promise to my family. I can't up and run off to your place. I could gobble you. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever you miss me, I don't mind if you come on over to my place, okay? I'll bore you all night long to your hot and creamy. Perhaps it's better I don't hire him. <laughs> you know what? This ended up probably being more fortuitous than I realized. Ah. I am not learning anything. <laughs> this is what happened if he went to a regular school. No valuable life lessons for me. Nope. I'm just going to continue being my douchey self. And fuck anyone who hates it. <laughs> yes! Oh, this game makes all my dreams come true. <laughs> all my fan fictions. This is so fucking awesome. Yes. Oh, I was like, I was like, he's only got one more left. All right. Please be this. Yes. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Hello there. <laughs> ah, he's doing the exact same expression as he is. Come on. Say something. <laughs> the two who should never have met had now crossed paths. <laughs> what? Your appearance. Explain. Now. Are you the same as that Sumugi girl? <laughs> oh, hey, are we aware of that? Oh wait, no, she's just she's just a cosplayer. Not necessarily the crazy part. 
Let me say this. Allow me to warn you. Saying something like that near Sumugi is sure to set her off. She says cosplays different from wearing similar clothes and behaving like real people. That's enough. That's not the issue here! <laughs> you have a much darker outline than I do. You've got five seconds. You've got an excuse. Say it now. I won't make excuses. What? what? Listen. I understand it may be unpleasant to have your identity borrowed by another person. I won't ask for forgiveness. I just want you to understand one thing. Listen. I did not take on your appearance to cause you harm. Biaga Itagami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was fated to stand up far above the rest. I do not know any identity besides that. That is all. <laughs> did you really think I'd find that flattering? Someone as pathetic as you is an ultimate. <laughs> there are many fools who pretend to be part of the Tagami family. They're all beneath me, including you, fatty! What? The Tagami family? That you? In other words. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm not saying I condone you, just that I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> However, I will give you one piece of advice. If you're going to imitate me, lose weight! <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do not understand the importance of fat. We will never see eye to eye. Eye to eye, Biaka Tagami. Come on. Did you think even for a second that we could? <laughs> oh, so good. Look how big my intellect is. God, I am a freaking spellcasting machine. Oh, so good. It was interesting how you saw it in sort of like his own way. He almost, he almost accepted the other one. That's about as close as you're gonna get to a compliment from Tagami or him accepting you. I'm so glad they did that, though. Today's a school festival. You gave a lecture as a prominent Tagami heir. After your speech, some of the audience wants to talk to you. <laughs> Don't follow me around. It's obnoxious. You seem to be listening attentively. You have a question for me. Uh... Don't follow me around. It's obnoxious. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, I, di I didn't even say anything yet. Naturally. You don't have to. I can tell just by looking at you that you're a nuisance. Don't screw around. Not true. I've got a question for you. How would you like to be my sidekick? <laughs> you got me corporation funds and all kinds of stuff, right? What about ex space exploration? Hmm. That was within our power. The Tommy Group and I myself can move mountains. With our brains and wallets, we are obligated to spread our grasp into space. A loser like you wouldn't understand. Don't screw around. I'm no loser. I'm Kato Momoto, Luminaria Stars. I see you also understand how, gr how great, a, great outer space is. All right, I'll make you my sidekick. <laughs> if you say that again, I will fucking kill you. What? Huh? What's the matter? <laughs> kind of follow you around for you you about space all day. No, leave me alone, Kyle. Kind of. Wait, come back, sidekick. Tell me about your problems. If there's anything you want to talk about, it. shut up and shut up. Leave me alone. Ah! Your last word at the academy. Today is Christmas, but you're, but you're not interested. You're not here to celebrate, you just want to sit and have coffee. I'll sit at this open table. I'll sit far away from the noise. I'll take my coffee to a quiet classroom. Um, I'll sit at this open table. Yo, ah, yo. God damn it! no, not hot curry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can do, is that, is that a seat open? Ah, well. Oh, hey, let me sit too. Oh, for fuck, sit you two, add me you two. There are plenty of other open seats. Why don't you sit anywhere else? Hey, come on. Hey, don't say that. How about I lower my price for fortune telling for you? <laughs> and I can give you my autograph. In a few years, it'll be worth a lot. <laughs> you certainly have a lot of free time. But I suppose that's, that's the case for the dull. You know nothing. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, Mr. Tagami? I'm super busy at the end of the year. Us fanfic creators. No, all otaku are preparing a crusade. Actually, I'm usually more busy at the start of the year. A lot of people want their fortunes in. So right now I'm, you know, saving up my energy. Ah! Uh -huh. And I'll be busy deleting all of the anime I've recorded to make room for the next season. Such ignorance. You don't sound very busy, but I'm so glad you seem happy. According to the spirits. Oh, so you can tell, Biakia. My fortune today was was really good. Come on. I was being sarcastic. Now go away. But. Man, come on. Admit it, we grown on you a little bit. Yes, indeed. It's true. When you first came to this academy, you were cold and heartless. You gave off the aura of a man who would kill you for getting near them. I still gave off that aura, you idiot. Now get away from here. I will bite your fucking fat finger off. <laughs> That's how it used to be. But look at you now. You've come a long way. <laughs> That's enough. Don't you dare make assumptions about me. 
You had quite he had quite the noisy time. Do I seriously look like I want to be friends with you? This academy was so obnoxious. I'm generally surprised they were called they are all ultimates. <laughs> yep, still an asshole. Yeah, they got me graduate from OC Academy. That's right. I didn't need some horrible shit happening to me to change me as a person. Nope. All right, let's go ahead and throw one more in here. Let's do Mahiru. He's a cutie. Hmm. Oh, sweet Academy. I'll probably be fine. I have friends in the reserve course, too. All right. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> All right, as the ultimate photographer, I'll take lots of pictures. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that whole fiasco. We all know how that goes, Mihiru. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, this is, this is a pretty good uh, interaction here. Uh, Mihiru wasn't... I don't think she, I mean, she didn't hate the boys. She was just like, but she expected quite a bit from them, you know? Well, well, take a. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, jeez. Why are boys so. Are you alright? What's wrong, Hero? I heard a girl in trouble. I heard someone mention today reveals! Hmm. Uh, well, I, I had to scold some boys causing a ruckus in the hall. Hmm? How dare they! They're not kids anymore. They should know better than to bother you! Jeez. Would you let me go over there and murder them for you? Totally. They're not kids anymore, but they're so insensitive. It's ridiculous. That's right! Exactly! Degenerates are always creating problems for us girls! This is the worst. Yeah, seriously. Some are still helpless, and others have no tact. Degenerate man! Exactly! All degenerate males should die! Slay them! Slay them all! Ah! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> That's not what my hero really wants to do. They should all die! No questions asked! Burn them in a fire! Well, I think that's going a little too far. Why? Why? Wait! Are you being blackmailed by a degenerate male right now? You're the worst of the Curse worst! Curse you degenerates! You're a bunch of sneaky bastards! I see you, Hajime! Oh god! Ah! Run, Nagi! Oteko says to keep the sun in your heart, but this Tenko chooses the daughter! <laughs> hey. Calm down, Tenko. Don't raise your voice in the hall like that. <gasps> You're being a degenerate female! Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How could I? I made the same mistake as those males. Hmm. Yeah, well, I understand you feel, but try not to get too worked up about it. It's really not that big a deal. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Aww. Phew, exams are finally over. I'm glad. It seems like everyone in class has passed. That's good. <laughs> yeah, the headmaster seemed to really like the photos of my portfolio, so I'm glad. Um. <laughs> everyone, thank you for your hard work! Hi. You too, Nikon. Great job. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Bernie farted it. Ugh. It's got taste to it. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, that is really smelly. Just snored away over there, too. Oh, man. Blissfully unaware of the bomb she just dropped. <laughs> oh, seriously, they actually got, like, got in my mouth while I was talking. Like, I, I don't even know how. How the hell did she do that? That is some thick-ass fart. You too, Mikon. Great job. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know there were some people who had given up at the start of the exams. If you feel sick, then please don't hesitate to stop by my room. Yep. Yeah, when the time comes, I'll ask you, ask for your help. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about we gather girls from our class and talk while we bake and drink tea? Nikon said there were some people cramming for the exams, so this might be a nice change of pace. Hey, hey. <laughs> there, yeah, she finally said it. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, that sounds nice. I sold a game tournament, too. I bring lots of snacks. I didn't know Mahira. I didn't realize Mahira also says, hey, hey. Hey, hey! It's not as adorable when I say it! Um, um. Uh, Mikan, have you ever bit before? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I said yes without thinking! I'm actually not too good at baking! <laughs> oh, God. This right. This is me. I know it's just sort of felt bad for Mikan. <laughs> She's always just like, I don't know, she just can't, like, she kind of reminds me a little bit of, a uh, the little, like, uh, on edge kid from South Park, uh, who's, he's got the crazy hair and he's always like, ah! <laughs> he's always drinking coffee and he gets just, like, super, like, he's always wound up about everything. <laughs> That's what kind of what she reminds me of. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't meet up, meet up to your expectations. Please forgive me. Um, you don't have to take it so seriously. I'm not very good at it either. Then, let's look at some recipes and do something simple with everyone. It'll be the same as looking up a guy before going on a capture mission. All right. Okay, then. I'll go invite everyone else. 
Well, M Mikon, do you want to look up some recipes with me? Y yes. Y yes. Uh, I'll try my best to be useful. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> oh. I think when Mikon is a, a horn dog or something, I think she's pretty much she's good at heart. I think you know, like I'm getting the nostalgia feelings of like, oh, that's right. I felt really bad for you so much. <laughs> Uh, today's the summer sports festival. Let's take lots of pictures today. Where will you aim for the first shot? I want to get shots of the relay race. We get shots of the three-legged race. The scavenger hunt seems fun. That's where Tigami is. Is he still there? Oh, oh God. Right. It's, these other Philippians. I want to get a group picture of everyone before they run. All right, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. You're going to start shooting. Huh? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you not like having your picture taken? <laughs> You, you, you just think I'm ugly! I'm starting to make the other girls look pretty by comparison! Hold on. <laughs> Toko, you're disturbing the hero. It is our duty as a photographer to take pictures of everyone. <laughs> Not me! And if you're in it, th there's gonna be a ghost or something in the shot! Let's see. You mean like my dead sister? Ooh. <laughs> no, she actually might be closer than you think. <laughs> actually, you may be correct. <laughs> Hey, Kyo, let's, let's not joke about that. Who's joking? I'm telling you. <laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts! D -d -d Don't be stupid! No. Ghosts are real. I've heard them voices many times. They are merely humans after death, you see. One needs to follow certain steps to hear their voices, but they're always among us. Would you like me to show you? Would you like me to show you my seesaw collection? N no way! It's a dumb imagination! Oh. Why are we talking about this? I'll chair the air the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, God. Kyo killed everybody there. What a shock it is. Ha! We have food. Oh, I think that should be enough for today. Hey. Were you able to take some pictures? Thank you. Yeah, I was going to take some good ones. All thanks to you. When you hold your bamboo sword, it looks so dignified. It really makes for a good shot. I see. Is that so? I wouldn't really know. Ah! Do you want to see the pictures I just took? It's a digital camera, so you can see how you look right now. Here! Yes. Ah, I see. I do look a bit sharp in these pictures. Almost like a blade. Hey! Oh, here's some different pictures, too. Like this one of all of, all of us together. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, what is it, Peko? Is this me? Hmm. Y yeah? That's when you were watching everyone from a distance. I think Kazuichi did something stupid. I figured Hiko got dragged in. Hiko was so mad. <laughs> and then you looked at them with a kind of smile. I couldn't help take a, take a picture. I like taking shots of people's smiles. And for a while, I couldn't get yours. Aww. Yes. Aww. Uh, she, was, she was doing something, you know, that Kuzuru got pulled into something, right? That is probably true. I've never been able to smile very easily. Not bad. But, I see. So that's what I look like when I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah, your smile looks nice. Next time, I'll definitely snap a picture of you bursting out in laughter with everyone else. <laughs> yes. I look forward to it. Oh, that's nice. That fills my balls with so much hope. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> there we go. Yo. You taking a picture? Huh? Uh Oh, you scared me. How long were you there for, Hifuyuko? He just said something. I didn't say anything because you looked like you were concentrated. You didn't take any more? Um, no, I think I pretty much snapped all the pictures I wanted to take. I'm surprised you asked me something like that. Are you interested in photography? Hey. Not really. I got a family member who's into it. Nah. Hmm, I, I see. Jeez. Just show me a shit a ton of pictures and ask me what I think or drag me with her to take more. Honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I think you I think you probably has, had to deal with her some, a, a little yourself. The only thing I could say about her pictures is I thought they were good. Hey! Hey, don't just use empty words like good or pretty. You should give, give real feedback. Like... I know that. That's why I came to talk to you. Huh? Huh? Hey. Well, I couldn't come up with stuff to say about her pictures. But I can't for yours. So I was thinking, if I look at your pictures, I'll know what kind of stuff to say. So, you want to practice forming your opinions into words by examining my pictures? Damn right. Damn right? Yeah, basically. It's a pain in the ass for you. It's five say no. You... <sighs> Should've just said that from the start. 
But sure, if you're following my pictures, then I don't mind. I see. Gotcha. Thanks. Got it. But in exchange, better be really into it. <laughs> of course. Don't gotta tell me that. I wanna tell tell her my opinions with my own words, yeah? I'm glad. Yeah, you should do, do that for her. I'm sure that'd make her very happy. He's referring to his sister, right? I, I guess. Did she suggest that she was into pictures at some point? I don't remember that. Today's the school festival. You decided to exhibit your best pictures. Someone wants to come to look at your pictures. What do you say to them? These are pictures of a daily school life. These are when the girls made sweets. These are from the sports festival. Um, these are when the girls made sweets. Oh, <laughs> oh God. So you be looking at those pictures intently. You're not being a perv, are you? No. Of course not. I would never direct wicked thoughts towards such wonderful pictures. These pictures capture everyone's smiles. Through them, the beauty of humanity shines brighter. Hmm. Uh, oh, th thanks. Do you understand? Also, I already have someone precious to me. I would not go about dying other women. Huh? Wh what Really? <laughs> you must be surprised, no. Um... Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry I accused you. She must be very dear to you. Oh, you have no idea. You're learning I'm expected by Korakio. If only you knew the depths, Miru. Just how deep would this rabbit hole go? That is up to you. Your last one at the academy. Christmas has passed and the graduation is coming up. Lately, a lot of people have asked you to take pictures as keepsakes. You brought a few of them to the closing ceremony. You give them to first. I'll give Ryama his class pictures. I'll give Gundam the animal pictures. I'll give Sumuki her cosplay pictures. Ooh, tough choice. Uh, I gotta go with Gundam, I think. You fiend. <laughs> It's you, Mahiru, for you to approach me. Have your astral levels been thrown into disarray after encountering my demon beast? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, none of that. Just brought you what you asked me. Here, pictures of animals. I can see it! I see. To make the ephemeral, ephemeral moments of this world eternal, that is your secret art. Hey. Or eph ephemeral, I think that's how you say it. Come on, can you at least think someone normally? Fine. <laughs> I am thankful for any record of the brief time my demon beasts have in this world. Aww. Well, whatever. It's fun being able to pet the animals if I took their pictures. Let me ask. Mahiru, may I use these pictures in the construction of my electric barrier? What? Huh? What does that even mean? Let me tell you this. I ask your permission to use these on my exciting reading journal website. <laughs> huh? Huh? I didn't know you had a site like that. The night is my domain. That site is but a cover for another site that only chosen sorcerers may view. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you can use them, but just give me the URL. The way he's talk still makes no sense. I kind of hate that I've gotten used to it. <laughs> he looked at Gundam's website and felt soothed by the animal pictures. Oh, they're all still so adorable. Yes, deadly is what you mean to say. Yeah, sure. All right. I need to take pictures of the entire class today. We pass them out to everyone. And that's Mahiro Kazumi, graduating from Osweek Academy. Ah, that was nice. I enjoyed that. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end things here for now. So I imagine I'll probably do a few more, you know, see uh, some more uh, highly requested ones as well as some more uh, ones that I want to see myself. But nice thing is all we have left is just the, the extra fun stuff, you know? Uh, the grinding RPG mechanics, which is uh, gonna make my life a lot easier as well when recording. So let me know if there are any you like, really want to see that uh, I haven't done yet, and I'll uh, see if I can do them. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin. For this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.